Hi, man, Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Today we have a special request from David BMX 030, and he says, "Please make a vid about electric igniter." And this was a follow-up message to one he'd left me earlier about um, making an electric igniter to sort of launch fireworks. And it's a little bit naughty, but I figured it's something. These technologies are things you can actually buy off the shelf in the UK. So be careful what territory you're in, because you don't want anyone to think you're making something nefarious. So you want to get yourself some Cook's matches, and in fact you don't really need that many. Even one alone will do for this test. And find yourself some wire, and I've got these bits of wire lying around in the back of this. It takes a bit of experimentation to find the right sort of gauge, but I end up with this piece. You might not be able to see it. It's quite fine. It's just a single strand of the wire that's in this cable. A regular battery snap with a couple of batteries, and I've attached a couple of crocodile clips. I actually soldered it straight to this battery holder. Don't do that, because I melted the battery holder. Yeah, if there's tabs on there, solder to those. Be a bit wary on how you handle that particular aspect. Uh, well, you will also need a wax candle, and this is a lemon and lime, or lime and lemon. Mmm, smells delicious. Um, that doesn't really matter, so... <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and light that candle because uh, it'll fill the back office with a lovely aroma and I'll just leave that on in the background. There we go. I'll just put it put it here just off camera. So what you want to do is take a decent length of your wire and I do apologise if you can't see it. I'll put it over this card for contrast. Yeah, you might just about be able to see the strands there. It's not actually that thin in real life, but it just looks thinner on the camera. And I've got some snips, so I'm going to just, well, let's see, if you can, if you can get as long as you need. Um, I'm going to go for a few inches long here, but you might need longer, just sort of comparison. It's probably a, a match and a half would be enough. And all you've got to do, it's quite simple, take your match, and any match works, brown matches, um, but these ones work even better, and these are the Cook's matches, and these are the ones that light from the sort of sandpaper, so these are the ones that the cowboys used to light with their rough nail. Um, just having a go myself. Uh, yeah, I'm obviously not macho enough to do that. There you go. See, I, l I lit that just rubbing it on this old chopping board, so <laughs> these ones are particularly volatile. Strike Anywhere Cook's matches. They've got a slightly wax coating on them, so that's how come they just don't casually light themselves in your pocket. Take the wire and do yourself a couple of twists. So I'm going to just hold it on the side there, and I'm just going to give it a couple of twists around the end of the match. So you will end up with two tails coming from the match, and if I just hold it gently, you'll see like a twist there. It's sort of migrated, but I'm just going to pull it back up so it's wrapped around the head. I'm just going to hold the two tails for now so it's keeping it in place. So you can see it right there. I'm going to try to hold it up to the camera, see if it will focus. See it right on the end, a couple of twists. So take your wax candle now from you had before, blow out the candle, and take your match and dip it in the wax. I'll do it in such a such a manner now to try to show you. It's it's got a bit of gunk on it, that dirty gunk because I've hit the uh, the wick, but that's fine. Got a bit of a blob on the end. Mmm, smells lovely. Um, you don't really want or need that much. In fact, I'm just going to start again. Look, I messed it all up. I messed it up. You'll mess it up too. Just one quick dip. That's it. Perfect. See it there right on the end? A nice blobby, blobby dip. And that's just to hold everything in place and actually the wax is quite um, flammable and it'll act as a nice, what's the word called? Accelerant, I believe. Accelerant. So what you can do now in your project, you've got lots of options. You can either cut the wood, if you don't want the whole stalk, um, and then just really bind it to the bottom of your firework or model rocket, or whatever you've got. You can use model rocket igniters, of course, if you don't want to make these. Or you can use these instead of model rocket igniters. But uh, please be very careful, because they might blow up in your face. And uh, I don't want to be responsible for that. I'm just showing you how to light a match electrically. So I've attached one end to the 
crocodile clips that's the positive end and you can see it's just wrapped around there and if you're doing this at home you'll obviously have it connected to a switch or something and a Ideally, if it's like the model rocketry, you've got a safety key and all of that, because you don't want this really going up off at all. Um, and if I were you, and I'm going to show you, I'm just going to pop the battery out this end. So if this was a rocket or firework, so that you could actually prepare it all, retreat back to a very, 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 very safe distance, and then have a go at sort of uh, lighting that. So I'm now going to put the battery in. I'm going to. It's off camera, and I don't want to disturb the wiring, so I'm just going to tell you when I've done it. Three two one go the wax has melted but uh, we're still waiting ignition and there you go yeah that took its own sweet time if you want it to be a bit quicker find much thinner wire than i've used here but let's have another go it probably works a lot quicker too if you don't dip the wax so if you don't really need the wax and that piece of wire actually is still intact, so we can reuse that. Let's see how quick it is without the wax. I think it'll be a far more instantaneous result. Also, when you're wrapping the wire around the match, make sure you don't overlap it, because it's going to cause weird shorts. So we're going to try a Mark II test. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, much quicker. So you've got options. If you want to make it quicker, bigger batteries and more of them, or thinner wire. So please uh, be safe with this. You know, don't uh, go out and hurt yourself. I really uh, don't want to be responsible for you know any horrible, horrible stories that you did this and you hooked up the battery and it blew your eyeballs out. Um, also, be aware of sort of local leg legislation in the countries you're in. You know, you don't want anybody to think you're making a bomb or something, and uh, that's going to get you into an awful lot of trouble. I can assure you. You might just, uh, and if you've got the sort of hobby of model rocketry, I don't know how much these uh, igniters cost for the rocket engines. They're probably cheap enough. They're probably more reliable and safer. So use them if you're thinking of doing this to save a few quid. Please leave your comments down below. If you've liked this video, click like, click subscribe, and as ever. Thanks for watching.